cover our debt so that we're not in major trouble on all this stuff. Clearly it shows these parties care more about themselves and their contributors than they do the American people. You say these parties, though, but there are well, critics... Well, gangs, I should call them, because they use the term party. In actuality, they're gangs. Democrats say if there were a vote on the continuing resolution to fund the government, it would pass right now. Do you think they are right? I don't know, because I can't... I don't sit in Congress, and I don't know how many votes are out there. But you I think there should be a vote yeah, right now? Yeah, absolutely there should be. And on the debt ceiling? Absolutely, there should be. They should be doing their jobs. And do you care about the Obamacare angle? Do you think it's right and proper no, that it be included in the I, discussion? I, yeah, I believe bills should stand on their own, that they should have no amendments to them, no caveats to them. Let each bill stand on its own, vote them up or down. But these are all ploys by the two gangs to run our government in a horrible fashion. You call them gangs. Is any one gang, in your view, at this moment more at fault for the situation we're in? Well, I lumped them both together because it really doesn't matter who you elect. Uh, they're dirt they've created a system based upon bribery, the concept of bribery. If you do that in the private sector, you go to jail for bribery. But there, it's alive and well. Well, the bribers, they've bribed both sides. So it doesn't matter who you get. You're going to get the same government because they're all owned by special interest in the corporations. What evidence do you have, and we're talking about the House of Representatives in particular right mm -hmm. here, that many of these districts across the country, perhaps even most of these districts across the country, are getting exactly what they want in their representation? Well, maybe they are. How can you prove they are? I don't know, but they elect these people time and time again. They all live in safe seats. They, they are <laughs> Every two years they face election and they seem to win again and again and again. Yeah, well, we could solve that too. Why do they put, why do they put gang names on a ballot? Why not just put the, the candidate's name? It's done on purpose so that if you're conservative, you don't need to know the candidate. You can go in and look for Republican. If you're liberal, you look for Democrat. Let's remove gang names. Let's make them political action committees. They can still endorse. But I, for me, it's uh, we'll never get our country back until we get rid of. And I've got good allies. You know who my allies are in this thinking? I, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. They all warned us about the gangs. They said if the gangs take over government, that'll be the destruction of the United States. And the gangs have taken it over. You, you, and you want to abolish parties altogether? Yes. Make them political action committees. Abolish them altogether. And, What's the uh, voters' responsibility here? Doesn't the voter have to do something in this in this equation? Sure, but the, and the voters' responsibility then would be to educate themselves to what who what John Smith stands for. Are they like doing I that said, right now, voters? No, no. They either vote conservative or Republican because they're all they've been trained that way by the two gangs and the system that we have of bribery. So there and is. And by the way, I I'm the only elected official in 50 years. I bet who made more money doing the job than what I raised to get it. And I never, in four years as government, I never once even spoke to a lobbyist. They weren't allowed in my office. You're out of government right now. You're thinking about getting back in? People wondering and asking you directly, will you run for president? Oh, they're asking me all the time. And I'll tell you, it's lining up perfect for me because I'll tell you right now what I will, I'll win with. I will give the American people, if I run, the opportunity to vote for the first president since George Washington, the father of our country, who does not belong to a political gang. Well, I mean, you talk about Adams, Jefferson. There were parties and sides that no, developed very Washington's quickly. Not Washington's the only one. So he's well, the only one. We could make history and elect the second the second president, if I run, who does not belong to a political gang. And, and there's talk about Howard Stern as a running mate. Well, there's a method to my madness. I despise the dirty money. Plus, when I ran for governor, I was doing a statewide talk radio show. I had to lose my job because of FCC regulations. And so with Howard's show, I can stay on right until the election. He's serious radio. FCC don't govern them. Plus, we could appeal to Howard's listeners to merely send us all 20 bucks. And that way, we don't. I can continue staying clean because I don't accept PAC money and I don't accept, accept special interest money. And 50 bucks ain't going to get you much of an audience. Has he told you he's willing to do it? Uh, he's thinking about it. Thinking about it. And yeah. you, you but I'll just... tell you, if he would support me and allow me to use his show, I would also, if he doesn't want to do it, I would consider Senator Angus King from Maine, the former independent governor, 
governor. We, he and I were the only two independent governors, so it very well could be a Ventura King Have you talked to Angus too. King about this? I have not. So this is news to not. him right now if he's Well, listening. he knows that I'd pick him because he's the only guy I would trust. Now, you, you criticize politicians for playing games a lot. Are you playing games with us right now? Are you serious? What, what are the odds you run for president? I don't know. I don't know. 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. That's pretty high. Yeah, for 50 I might, 50 I won't. When do you want to make that decision, by? We have to make it pretty soon because uh, we'd have, we, w the, the difficult thing is this. I would have to get ballot access in all 50 states. The two gangs already have it in all 50 states. See, they make the rules. That's what makes it difficult. It's like playing a football game and then at halftime they'll change the rules on you. So I would have to get ballot access in all 50 states and I must be allowed in the debates. But they control that, too. The Democrats and Republicans control who can debate. And it's simple. If I can debate them, I can beat them. A yes, no decision by the end of this year? I don't know. All right, thank you. You're not going to pin me down on something like that. I live in Mexico right now, and I have a new job. I'll be working for the richest man in the world, Carlos Slim, because I can't get a job here in the media, but he's giving me one in Mexico. So I will be broadcasting to the United States off the grid, much like we broadcasted uh, Radio Free Europe where you got to be outside the country to get the truth to the country. We're much like East Berlin today. I cross that border driving every year. The only thing missing are the tanks at the border, and I'm sure they're on their way. When you do make that decision, Governor, I hope you do come back and tell us. We well, appreciate you being I'll, here today. I'll, I'll be happy to do it. Governor Ventura, thank you so much for right. joining us.